Moscow is indicating that they are ready to discuss Washington's proposal to release Brittany Griner now that her trial is complete. This is a positive signal coming after months of stalled efforts to bring the WNBA star home. Griner was sentenced to nine years in prison for drug possession and smuggling charges Thursday. Russia's foreign minister says the country is prepared to engage with the U.S. through already specified channels. Secretary of State Antony Blinken repeatedly said that the U.S. has already offered a substantial deal to get Griner and Marine veteran Paul Whelan home. We've all seen the, the sentencing, uh, the conviction of Brittany Griner to nine years in prison, and that further compounds the injustice that's being done to her uh, and her wrongful detention. Uh, it puts a spotlight on our very significant concern with Russia's legal system and the Russian government's use of wrongful detentions to advance its own agenda, uh, using individuals as political pawns. CBS News reporter Mary Alushina joins us now from Riga, Latvia. Mary, Moscow has said that they are ready to discuss a potential deal with the U.S. Tell us, what are the next steps in negotiations? Hi. Yeah, what Lavrov said today basically means there's green light for the Russian foreign ministry to engage with the State Department and start uh, negotiating the swap. Uh, they have confirmed before that some conversations have been happening, um, but there was no concrete results, and they were waiting for the conviction to come in the Griner trial, um, and that, according to Russian procedures, um, allows Russia to move on with negotiations and a potential swap. Um, and I want to focus on what Lavrov said today. Um, about um, the channel between uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden. Um, he said, quote, no matter what anyone says publicly, this channel will remain in effect, which basically means they want to move this conversation behind the closed doors. Mary, what's the timeline that we're looking at here? How long could this take? There's no specific timeline yet. Yet um, We know uh, from previous uh, swaps that Russia um, and U.S. have agreed upon, uh, like with Trevor Reed, that you know he spent two years uh, um, in, in prison after he was convicted. Um, so it may take a while, but uh, his case was uh, different. Um, he was maintaining he's not guilty, uh, and you know there was a lot of you know political um, trial and error here uh, with Griner. She has admitted her guilt, and you know her defense strategy was to make sure that you know um, Russians know that she understands her best bet is probably to be swapped with the United States. So we could be looking for several weeks, could be several months. We really don't know exactly. But what Lavrov said today means like that it is probably going to be accelerating in the coming days. That That is good news for the people who are hoping to get Griner and Wheel in home. Uh, but there's also concern about their status while these negotiations are going on. Are we going to get updates on where they are, how they're doing? What more do we know, Mary? Well, as for uh, Griner, she is going to be in the current detention center she is now. She's not going to be transferred um, because she still has the right to appeal this conviction. And her defense team said that they will do so. They have 10 days uh, uh, to file this appeal. And only after this appeal is considered... Uh, which could also take several weeks. Um, she will likely remain in the detention center, which is good news because um, if she's transferred to another prison, it's probably going to be not in Moscow. It's going to be further away. It's going to be harder for U.S. Um, embassy staff to get access to her uh, and get updates on her well-being. As for um, uh, Paul Whelan, he is in a, a colony in Russia, um, uh, away from the capital. So uh, he's going to remain there until a possible swap comes in. Um, and you know, the only really updates we get um, about his condition if his lawyers are able to visit him and then pass along some notes to his family. So he's going to remain there for now. All right. Mary Lushna, thank you. Thank you.